Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com and can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific lady who's uh, based in New York City, and she is the ultimate and multi-talented. And she is... um, a singer-songwriter who goes by Will Bug, and also um, a model, director, actor, and uh, she's been in uh, K-drama soundtracks, 
And she also has uh, been a little bit on Netflix. She's uh, been on stage as well, too. And she played in South Korea, and she's been all over the world. And she's been starting at a very early age. So live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful New York City, the very multi-talented singer, songwriter, actor, model, and director, Will Bug, or you can call her Subin. As in Kara on. <laughs> hey, Subin and Will. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. So I guess we'll just Hi. switch off um, on, on what two we have. So I guess we'll just play, um, you know, double personality, double duo today here on the Mike Wagner show. <laughs> right. Like a lot, like more than like double, I guess. But of course, we're not going to bug you, Will, too, by the way. So so you've been a singer, songwriter, actor, model, and director, and you've been doing this uh, for quite some time, starting at a young age. And you've been featured in the K-drama soundtracks with Rise Again, Mr. Sunshine. And also, um, you have a song called You're Beautiful, which is on Spotify, and you're going to play one of a, a tunes live. You also performed in South Korea, and you also have... Um, done a little bit of um directing yourself too so basically just getting your foot in the door and also just being a very multi-talented sensation before we get into all that tell us how i first got started how did it start how how did, how did you first get started um okay so like i guess i mean like for me the transition was like very natural i would say um my mother is a musician so hmm. i think like the interest for music like has always been in me um and i started taking voice lessons uh at the age of 10 or 9 and then i naturally got into musical theater and i got into the the acting side of it more and then i ended up studying directing and got a degree in it and uh, yeah and then like um all along i was continuing to do whatever i was doing so i ended up like doing like five different stuff wow <laughs> and, and of course it makes you wonder uh, which direction you're going to go into and um also continue on what you're doing and you also um you know model as well too and uh you know continue your, your journey and throw in some modeling and if you have some other um interests as well too like if you're writing youtube or anything like that you can tell us as well too right um I write. Do I finish them? Not necessarily. Um, well, I obviously write songs and like I do finish them too because, you know, I, I have to play them live. Mm-hmm. But um, I also write short stories. I haven't, I've never like published anything, but I plan to in the future. And I'm also working on short films. Um, those I might be um, filming and directing them pretty soon like in the coming like three years or so oh wow okay so so what do you have in the works when it comes to directing in directing um well until very recently i was working on maybe like three projects at like time um which is a lot mm-hmm. but this month i purposely didn't book many projects because um i've been too busy and i was told that i was really bad at give myself a break um, <laughs> yeah there, there's oh that. there's there's always room for improvement and of course you know many of us can learn from experience and especially mine and there are times i have a hard time trying to um continue writing projects because i'll either get interrupted something gets in the way or i'll just say Ah, I don't like this. Crumple it up, throw it away, and I'll just say it was a start dark and stormy night like Snoopy does in his um peanuts, and I have to crumple that about <laughs> oh gosh, I think he's been doing it for like thirty, forty years already or something. So Yeah. Um but yeah, like at the moment I'm only working on like one project which is for this virtual theater festival and it's just a short short, sweet little piece, like eleven page called um the in inevitability of sunshine mm-hmm. okay i'm directing that one yes okay and you also performed in uh south korea as well too and uh tell us a little bit about that um well in south korea it was like mostly music stuff the those soundtracks mm-hmm. and i still feel um beyond grateful um for that i was a part of like amazing soundtracks and amazing shows 
Um, I haven't done um, any soundtracks in like a while. I mean, I recently um, participated as a background vocal for this show, A Piece of Your Mind, earlier this year. But like, You're Beautiful was a few years ago, which I was the main in. And yeah, although like that was like a long time ago, I still like feel very, very blessed. And uh, yeah, the composer and like everyone at the studio, they were like super, super nice. And the director and the the screenwriter too, like they told me some very, very kind stuff. Like, oh, like your song made the show so much better. And uh, yeah, I've had like amazing um, experience so far with the people in the industry in South Korea. Mm-hmm. And, and then what was that one moment that uh, influenced you to uh, end up g- to uh, go out to New York City? That was, wow, I still clearly remember because, like, I made the decision um, pretty much overnight. Mm-hmm. Um, so the the reason why I got into musical theater was that I, I watched a film version of one of the most hated musicals ever, Cats. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I I think that was like the uh, the movie version, and of course, yes. one, and of course, one of the things you know, my boys and I like to do, unless my wife and the family, it's like if we find something that's bad, we either um talk over it, you know, throw comments, throw you know some popcorn, whatever it is. But <laughs> it, it was just too bad. It's like we just ran out of things to say and just stop right there. But but that's um, what I heard, yeah. right, yeah, and of course, you know, I think they had to um what, spend like hours and hours and hours of editing. It's like cut out like the um the buttholes on cats. I'm like, oh my goodness. I, it's like I when I heard it I was like <laughs> I I'm, I'm yet to check out the movie version. I'm not sure if I should or not. Mm-hmm. But yeah, well this film version, which was filmed in I believe nineteen ninety six, mm-hmm. I think. That one I still love. I know that one was like still hated by so many people. I but I love it so good. Um, so I don't know. It just like brought me so much comfort, and I was like, oh, I want to be in the show. What should I do? Oh, I have to be a theater actress. Oh, then I kind of want to study that properly. Oh, let's go to New York. <laughs> just like that. Oh wow! So it sounds like just you're trying. Like so so it sounds like you're trying to get your uh, foot in just about everything, and you're going. And you're about to decide what you're going to pursue as well. So so we'll talk more about that. We'll also talk about um, some of your other ventures and also uh, some of your interests in just a minute. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well known award winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon. Other retailers available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner show.com and can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms including facebook soundcloud spreaker spotify and iHeartRadio. also on anchor fm itunes google play apple amazon audible and coming soon to podbean buzzsprout pandora and tune in take the mike widener show with you on any mobile device subscribe to the mike widener show on the youtube channel and follow the mike widener show on instagram and twitter today we're here with the multi-talented singer songwriter actress model and director based in new york city Subin kara on or best known as will bug here on the mike widener show and um you, you've gotten your uh, experience on all the um areas in the uh, in the arts theater music modeling and everything and let's go back a little bit and um Let's uh, talk about uh, who are some of your favorite artists, singers, and actors, writers, and um, also some models growing up. Some of the figures um, that you actually um, grew up watching, listening, and checking out. Who are some of your favorites? Why? Oh, wow. So many of them. (laughs) So many great ones. Well, um, one of my favorites is actually my best friend, um, Jake Tavel. He's a Jersey musician, and uh, although I personally like his unreleased songs better while well, he has an upcoming album 
I strongly, strongly um, suggest you check them out. But um, there's a song called Legs and a Twist. That song is a bop. <laughs> and uh, um, listening to Jake and like just like seeing him play and like do his stuff, like that actually inspired me um, to go do a uh, like, lot more live stuff and like publish my own music too. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that one is like something that definitely means so much to me. Um, well, who else did I like? And there are like some K rock bands. I honestly didn't grow up listening to K pop music. <laughs> um, I feel like a bad Korean, but I, I, I just didn't. Um, but K rock literally rocks. Um, there are some good bands like Zhao Ren and Seok uh, Oh. Um, they do versatile stuff which also like musically inspired me to basically write whatever I like and not caring about, you know, the, the genre and the limitation. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and also what was that one moment that precisely, precisely influenced you into what you're first doing? You talked about, um, you know, getting classical singer and what was that one precise moment that influenced you into what you're doing? Say, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my career. Like, Music, as like I said, like it always has been in me. Like I don't even remember like when I told my mom or like, cause I I remember her hiring a voice teacher when I was in fifth grade, but I don't know how. I don't know. Like I don't know how that happened. Mm-hmm. I guess I just like grew up like always like thinking that music and singing was what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And then when it comes to acting, that too, I just like started watching a lot of musical theater plays and uh, and then it just absorbed me, I think. Just it was it, it just like felt so fascinating. Mm-hmm. Like, just like becoming someone else and living their lives as like characters and that made me really want to study it. Mm-hmm. and um get really deep into it mm-hmm. and, and, and then what who are some of your uh what are some of your favorite movies and also um musicals you enjoyed watching well my absolute favorite movie is delicatessen it's is it surrealistic it's absurd it's very very weird also like dark comedy that's like my favorite kind of um movie or like anything um, also, the kind of art that I um, I want to make. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else do I like? So it was movie and what was the other one? Um, movies and uh, also um, theater musicals as well, too, since you uh, also did a little bit of stage work. Right, except for Cats. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to be honest, I really hated the recent um, Broadway revival, so I'm not going to include that one. <laughs> I I actually really, really loved um, the recent revival of Sunset Boulevard with um, starring Glenn Close herself, and it was just an amazing, amazing um, experience just like seeing her on stage so close. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. And, and also uh, with with all the things that you're involved in as well too. And um, what are you looking to aspire to do in about or where where do we see you at in about five to ten years? Five to ten years. Um, for me, it's kind of difficult to tell. I am actually on a visa right now. Um, I'm currently in the process of filing for the artist visa. So it's going to depend on whether I get it or not. Um, But let's say, hopefully, fingers crossed, I get it. If I do get it, um, my friends and I founded a theater company in New York City. Um, It's officially registered in New York City, which I'm, like, super, super proud of. Mm -hmm. Um, We have the inc dot at the end. (laughs) I cannot stop talking about it because 
I don't know. It makes me feel like an adult. Oh, and, oh, okay. Talking about, I mean, I love to hear it. Sounds like you got some independence and someone said, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere, even back in South Korea. So yeah, I love hearing more about what you got in the theater company. Right. And um, so, well, my name is like not officially like on it. Cause you know, I'm not a citizen here, but um, I'm the artistic director at the moment. And uh, um so far we have put on two virtual theater festivals and for our last one tales from uh the visa line we were able to raise um, over two thousand dollars wow the international refugee assistance project which was amazing um so and uh, once things open back up we plan to put maybe two to three annual plays um which is going to be a mixture of originals and uh, um, pre-written plays and also like annual festivals, raising money, um, like a charity event. And uh, yeah, we have an upcoming holiday show, holiday variety show called Scary Howie Day. Um, (laughs) Yeah, uh, our name is Scary How Wow Theater, by the way. It's like the stupidest name possible, and I love it. Well, well, better than Cat Theater, I gotta say that. (laughs) And um, (laughs) and where and and where can we find out more about um, your your theater group? Um, so we have a website. I believe it's just www dot like theater dot com. Um, both double W's. (laughs) Scary we how well um, and uh, yeah we have an instagram as well but since we um were recently found it we don't have that many followers yet but i plan to grow it really big okay well that sounds pretty good and before we have you sing you also been uh featured in k-drama soundtracks with rise again from mr sunshine and your beautiful from for romance which are both on netflix and uh tell us about those quickly those um so i used to do or like still do demos for the composer and uh, for rise again um she really needed to get that done like in like a few hours she was given only a few hours and the main singer um elaine she was supposed to sing the whole thing but she had a was it i think it had like something to do with her tonsil like she was sick so she contacted me and I got to sing the first part, which got, um, which made onto their first official trailer. Nice. And then, yeah, and then she was, um, that got like really, really like amazing like reception. So for You're Beautiful, which kind of required uh, like a similar type of voice, she thought of me and uh, yeah, I got to do that. Oh, that's very nice. And we'll find that on Netflix. And um, we'll have you play one of your songs in just a minute live. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love Called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target where truth is an illusion and ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, Find iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, Stitcher, Deezer, Radio Public, Geo7, and more. And coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with singer, songwriter, actress, model, and director based in New York City, the very multi-talented Subin Kara'an, best known as Will Bug here on the Mike Wagner Show. And looks like you uh, got something uh, for us to perform live. And um, you know, you sang You're Beautiful, which is really good. And uh, you got your composer with you. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, have you play something for just a few minutes on the Mike Wagner Show. Awesome. Okay, so this is one of my originals called All It Does. Um, it's just a really sad song. <laughs> 
That's all I got to say. Um, let me go get my accompanist. Okay. Hello. Yes, hello. How are we doing? <laughs> let me switch it to the... Okay. Okay, so are you still with us here? Sorry? Oh, are you still with us? Yeah, yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Okay, all right. So so once again, we have Subin Kara'an on the Mike Widener Show, best known as Will Bug, and she's going to go ahead and play it for us. So you all set to go, guys? Uh, let me... Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good, right? Okay. Uh, is that audible? Yes, yes, it is. So go ahead and play it for us on the Mike Widener Show. Awesome. All it does is hurting me, all it does is killing me, reminding me of how much I miss you. All it does is making me hate myself, and crying random things like that. It's breaking me and bruising me on my heart. Will I see you again? Will I feel you again? Will I see you again? Will I ever see you again? It's just so goddamn hard not to want to touch you and hold you. So freaking hard not to want to kiss you and ask you, will you hurt me? Will this kill me? All it does is hurting me. All I do is wait in here. For you to call me back. Maybe we'll talk again the same way we used to. All it does is making me say out loud I freaking wish I never met you I'm really not supposed to like you this much Will I see you again? Will I feel you again? Will I see you again? Will I ever see your pretty freaking face again? It's just so goddamn hard not to want to touch you and hold you. So freaking hard not to want to kiss you and ask you to. Will you hurt me? Will this kill me? Will you come back to me? Will you just look at me? All with this killing me. That is fantastic, hurting me from Will Bug here on the Mike Wagner Show. Tell us more about that song. What inspired you to write it? Um, basically, um, this guy, this special friend of mine, um, that, like, he didn't break my heart. I was just, like, being anxious and, like, just, like, in my mind, I was like, oh, like, we're done. And, like, he left me, but I ended up seeing him, like, the week after and we're still very close Mm -hmm. um yeah so it was just like me um being negative and being sad (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah um yeah um austin d adamo like who accompanied me um just um, just um earlier um he helped me with the the playing style Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's an amazing that, band made. That is am- oh, that is amazing. You guys did a great job. And uh, where can we find all your works at, Will or Subin? 
Um, so, well, I'm on Spotify, but I, I'm i yet to publish my own music, um, which I might or might not this coming year. I'm working on it. So um, I guess follow me on Spotify, um, Woolbug, and I'm also on Instagram as Woolbug underscore music. As, you know, it's really easy to spell, so I don't think I have to spell it out. <laughs> as, <laughs> you know, like traditionally male name Will and Bug as in little bug underscore music. Um, and I'm on Facebook too, but like once you follow me on Instagram, like every other like information is on there. So I think that's like the easiest way to follow me and my career. Okay. And, uh, also what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond? 2020 and beyond that too. Um, if I get my visa approved, um, I'm going to continue working on, um, my theater company and hopefully we'll be able to beat COVID and I'll be able to put on some amaz- amazing in-person shows in the city. Um, yeah, that that's like my, that's my plan for now. Okay. We're looking forward to as well too, uh, Will Bug. And uh, also, who do you consider biggest influence in your career? My, my mother, actually, um, I think I told you that my mom's a musician that I, um, but yeah, she, um, as a human being, as a mother, as a woman, as a musician, as a professional, just like, as like anything and everything, she influenced me in every single way. And I aspire to be just like her in the future. Okay. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Best advice, um, this is really simple, but just do it. Just like the Nike logo. <laughs> it, is, it is really a simple thing, but like I for so long um, had been thinking about like so many things and big plans, but was not actually worth acting on them. But once I started doing things from like small things to big things, my life basically changed. Like mm. small things like buying like, the chair I wanted or big things like, oh, I want to like write songs and publish them. Mm -hmm. I just started acting on them and I became much more confident and my, you know, um, things got so much better for me. Okay. Well, that sounds very good. Once again, Will Bug or Subin Karaan are a very singer, talented singer, songwriter, actress, model, and director based in New York City on Mike Wagner's show. A very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic, Will. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date in 2021. Looking forward to having you again soon. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people um, check out your works or listen to your music? All right, so it's Willbug on Spotify and Willbug underscore music on Facebook. Uh, no, on Instagram. Okay, that sounds very good. Once again, Subin Will, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you soon. Do us a favor, keeps us up to date. Love you back on in 2020 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch and uh, give us an update on your uh, terrific career progress. Absolutely, thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960.
or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 